Hey everybody, it's Gabriel Correjo with Automation Anywhere. I'm really excited to have Uday Gajender here, our UX architect. Glad to be here. Um, so tell me a little bit about UX, your take on UX, and yeah. what you're doing here at Automation Anywhere. Yeah, sure. Um, user experience is fundamentally the quality of the engagement that a person, a user, a human being, uh, would have with a digital product or service. UI is the manifestation of that user experience thinking in terms of that interface, often a digital interface, the pixels and the buttons and so forth that you click on, but they have meaning when you ground them and frame them in terms of the experience you want that person to have. How do you want them to feel? What kind of problems are they trying to solve? What is the goal they're trying to accomplish? And so UX and UI, they go together. I think of them as two sides of the same coin. Why was it important from Automation Anywhere's perspective, from your perspective, mm -hmm. to refresh the experience? Many years ago, I had a mentor who said to me that there's no difference between enterprise users and consumer users. And he said to me, well, look, Uday, when an enterprise software user, they, they drive into the office, they don't flip a switch on and say, okay, now I'm gonna stop using all these consumer products and the consumer experiences. All these kind of consumer experiences raise the bar in terms of the expectations people have for the products they use at work. And what brings me to Automation Anywhere is that perplexing and yet perennial question as to why can we not make this software beautiful, powerful, elegant, and yes, actually elevate that quality of being human. Um, and so that leads to the point about a uh, desire to modernize, to refresh, both in terms of the visual look and feel, but also in terms of the interactions so that it feels like, oh yeah, this feels like a modern product that is compatible with or very similar to other products and services I use in the rest of my life. Within that, so it's tough to be everything to everyone, but at the same time serve their individual needs. Yes. How were the design choices and the design thinking, though? How did you come to this product that we have? Great question, because you're right, and that's the heart of the design challenge anywhere you go. So let me highlight one particular example from A2019. Within the bot editor view, we have a drag and drop capability, which should be familiar and very easy for um, someone who's not as code savvy. They can just drag and drop their actions right onto the canvas to help make bot editing feel like eh, a little bit like a constructor set or a Lego set. You're building something along the uh, So you idiot proofed it for guys like me, is what you're saying? Yeah, exactly, okay. right. We need to attract novices but at the same time be powerful for experts, right? That's one of our principles. How do you explain, or how would you explain to the layperson what robotic process automation, or RPA, actually is? Sure. What if you had an entourage at work? And this entourage is basically your team of assistants that can do all the mundane stuff, the repetitive stuff, the tedious stuff, that really soaks up all your time and energy. But what if you had that entourage? that can take care of all these things for you. At a fundamental level, a bot is a piece of code um, that'll do what you tell it to do, to automate the things that need to be automated, take care of the busy work for you. You know, and there are different kinds of bots for the different kinds of activities. So you can have bots for invoicing, billing, purchasing, kind of the mundane business operations. So with these bots, how complicated is it to actually build it? Can anyone do it? Yes, anybody can build a bot, even as little as in three minutes, because now we've introduced a UX walkthrough that enables someone to know exactly where to click and how to drag in the elements, the actions onto the canvas, fill in some properties, hit submit, preview it, and then you're off and running. And that's it, in just three minutes. Uday, this has been really fun. I really appreciate the time and, uh, and the insights. I'm looking forward to what you're doing next and chatting with you again soon. Awesome, thank you so much, I had a lot of fun. Yeah, appreciate lot, it. Man. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe and follow us on social for more great RPA content.